So spring is in the air. As you can see behind me, uh, the lawn is in the process of greening up. It's not 100% there yet, but within another week or two, it's going to be ready to go and as far as like, you know, we can start thinking about weed control and fertilizing and things like that. But right now during the green up phase, we want to kind of leave it alone, let nature take its course. I am seeing a good bit of weeds out here, so I'll be looking forward to treating the lawn coming up here in the next probably couple of weeks. But right now what I'm concentrating on is building the soil. So there are a couple of things you can do uh, that I think is very important as far as like kind of taking your lawn to the next level. You know, over the course of fall and winter, the soils kind of get depleted. They get a lot of rain, they get a lot of debris on them, uh, kind of trampled down in the poor conditions. So with that, you want to kind of rejuvenate your soil coming into spring and summer. So a monthly carbon application, which I've, I've talked about before, monthly applications of a carbon source like humic acid or biochar, things of that nature are gonna do a lot of good to your soil in your lawn. And it's gonna help mainly with the water holding capacity. And it's really just kind of absorption of nutrients and water that we're looking for when we put down carbon. You're gonna see the benefits of that. If you do that consistently over time, you're going to see your lawn kind of a little bit more full and growing uh, a little bit better in areas that it may have struggled in the past. It's not something that's gonna be like a wow factor after one application, but if you do it consistently throughout the growing season, you're going to see a lot of benefit to that. I've, over the last few years, noticed a lot of benefit to, when we get heavy rain showers, the lawn is able to kind of absorb that heavy rain a lot better than it did in the past. Uh, I would get a lot of puddling out here. I still do a little bit in some of these dip areas that I have uh, back here. It kind of has a little dip area and that, those areas kind of puddle up. But overall, the lawn is able to absorb heavy rains and it's able to be a little bit more drought tolerant too because it's using that water more efficiently. And so what I'm gonna do this year, I'll tell you what I'm doing is I'm applying a Humic DG product, which I've talked about in the past. It's the Andersons that have this dispersible granule, hence the name DG, which there's tiny little particles and the, once those particles are rained on or irrigated, those tiny particles explode into multi, even smaller particles. So the disbursement of that product is great. And it's easy to spread in the broadcast spreader as well. So that's a great product. Also, you, you may have heard of Humichar, which combines humic acid and biochar. That's another great product. They aren't the cheapest products in the world, but they're very good. And one thing I'm gonna do this year is alternate Humic DG and then maybe like a month later do an application of this product called Carbon Pro G, which has mainly biochar and compost in it. it, has very little humic acid, but it also has a mycorrhizal fungi small package in there, which is great for your soil. Mycorrhizal fungi is basically a good fungus that keeps away the bad fungus. So in those stretches of summer that are kind of hot and wet, which promotes fungus in your lawn, uh, with centipede, you might get brown patch, which is kind of a large, kind of an almost kind of a deadening of the lawn where you see these large brown areas. Uh, that mycorrhizal fungi can help fight that off and prevent it from happening. So that's a great thing to add. So I think by alternating those products, I'll get a good amount of humic acid down, as well as a good amount of compost and biochar down, and also mycorrhizal fungi. So that's four beneficial things, carbon related, fungus related as well, that are gonna just benefit the soil. A straight soil improvement. And over time, if you do those kind of things consistently, like once a month, once every six weeks, your lawn's gonna respond to that. Your soil is gonna be healthier, and so as a result, your lawn is gonna look better and be healthier. So it is something that, like I said, is not gonna wow you overnight. It's not gonna be kind of a quick result thing. But over the course of time, you will see those benefits. Hope everybody's having a good spring. Got more videos coming out soon. 
Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. All right.